Hi everybody, this is Simon Ward of thetriathloncoach.com and I'm back with another video in preparation for the Outlaw Triathlon which, if you've been asleep for the last few weeks, is in less than four weeks time. So it means this is when you should start thinking about your taper. So that's what we're going to discuss today. Um, so one of the things that happens and that I've experienced is that people get to the end of their big training that might be two, three or four weeks out from the race depending on how long you've decided on for your taper and incidentally there is no right or wrong. Two weeks might work for some people, four weeks might work for others. But, as I said, one of the things that I've experienced over the years is that people get to the end of their big block of training in absolutely fantastic shape but that doesn't mean it's going to all happen for you on race day. A lot can go wrong if you follow the wrong program in the final few weeks. So here are some of the things that I think you need to consider. Okay. Decide on the length of your taper. When you're deciding on the length of taper, one of the things that you ought to know is that it takes around four to six weeks for your body to adapt to training. So if you do any big stuff now or next week or even the week before the race, it probably isn't going to have any effect on race day whatsoever. And that being the case, you might want to, to ask yourself, why would I bother? So remember this, adaptation four to six weeks, morbid training probably won't help a great deal. So your goal, with that in mind, is to reduce the fatigue that you've been slowly gathering with the big training you've done in the last few weeks. Okay, Reduce fatigue and try to maintain fitness. So how do we do that? Well the first thing you need to do is drop the volume, so training sessions particularly running sessions, you need to cut down the duration. Okay, You can keep a little bit of cycling volume in there and you could probably keep a bit more run, a swimming volume in there because you need to maintain a good feel for the water. So we cut down the volume. If you're used to training twice a day then it's perfectly okay for you to continue training twice a day but perhaps if you, if you do an hour's swim and an hour's bike you might consider a 45 minute swim and a 30 minute bike. Some people get twitchy if we take, take away one of their daily training sessions, so by all means keep those in. And you want to try and keep the intensity the same, or maybe even increase the intensity, particularly um, as you're doing uh, an outlaw distance event that's going to take between 10 and 17 hours. The intensity is going to be quite low, so by keeping some intensity in it will help to maintain blood volume and all of those other benefits that you get. A couple of other things that you might not have uh, thought about, try to increase the amount of sleep you have. It's the best way to recover. It stimulates anabolic hormones which help with muscle repair. Now something that helps stimulate cortisol which are catabolic hormones which help to tear muscle apart and, and destroy muscle or prevent muscle repair is increased stress. So if you have a stressful job which includes things like night shifts or um, very very stringent deadlines or long haul travel, one of the things you ought to uh, try to plan in is reducing those so you can limit the stress in the weeks before. Certainly in the final week you don't want to be doing any foreign travel, you don't want to be trying to finish off a massive project etc etc. So the final thing for me is in the last few weeks you could probably get away with about half the volume that you used to. As long as you're doing a little bit of intensity and keeping your feel for the water and keeping running in small amounts, then you're doing just enough and that's all that's needed for you to reduce the fatigue and maintain fitness. Okay, so that's it from me for now. I will be back with some more videos, but if you don't see them, then I'll be there on race day and I'll be calling you across the line. So see you then, enjoy the rest of your taper and um, see you at the end of July.